I started having a feeling that my smile wasn't like everybody else's um, pretty early in the game. I always looked in the mirror, I always looked at magazines, and I saw all the girls up front and they had these big beautiful teeth and um, Hannah Montana was, you know, my favorite person and she had the best teeth, you know, she had the best smile. And I was always like, is there anything I can do? Um, and that's when kids started pointing it out too, I think, is when I started getting more internalized with myself and like starting to hide it because people were like you know why doesn't she talk to anybody and then oh well I kind of see why <laughs> and then when people even came and picked on me it was like you know your teeth are small you know you don't have a smile where are your teeth it felt like I was like on a magnifying glass like every second of my life like I don't <sighs> it bad times <laughs> bad times for sure My biggest supporter and like my biggest cheerleader ever is my best friend Jenny. She was always the one that, you know, she said, it don't matter what anybody thinks, like you can still smile. Like she'd still be there making me laugh. She'd still be there making me smile no matter what it looked like. So it was right when I was getting into high school that I met Dr. Rankin. Um, I think I was either 14 or 15, and um, it was something that he even, you know, suggested genetic testing for. He and he mentioned, you know, some kind of dysplasia or something going on, and. Um, it was something that my mom, as soon as, you know, she was like, I don't even know if we can afford braces. And he was like, have you ever um, heard of a smile for a lifetime? And I, he, she said, no, what is it? And um, he said, you know, it's this really amazing, you know, foundation, they can really help you guys out. And um, we applied. Um, we had my friend um, write an application um, letter for me. We had my principal, we had my teacher. And the words that they wrote about me were crazy too. Like I just, I couldn't believe that anybody felt that way about me. Her case was very, very complex uh, beyond what I could do by myself. And so before I actually started her, I talked to a couple of friends in town about, uh, you know, if they could you know, possibly give me a hand with her case if need be. Caitlin had 13 permanent teeth normally. Of course, there'd be 32 and she had a little greater than half an inch deficit between her top and bottom teeth that was all associated with her upper jaw. We grew some bone in areas, we had to grow some bone like in some sinus areas and things. And so we staged that, staged putting some temporary teeth in with Dr. Ward so that about the time her bone grafting was ready and all that, that we could get some implants put in. And then when we did some of our restorations up top and got her into an upper provisional, um, that day changed her personality. Caitlin came out and blossomed and bloomed just all in one day. To have someone say that they want to help you afford a smile, like, oh my gosh, it just, you couldn't ask for anything better. And I don't think anybody realizes the voice that a smile can truly give, um, or just the confidence it can give someone and instill in someone. I mean, I went from not talking to anybody to doing youth in government to, you know, being right there and like talking to you. I would never do this. Smile for a Lifetime orthodontists are learning that there's no better way to build strong professional relationships than by building an interdisciplinary team and working together to dramatically change lives like Caitlin's. If you don't have an interdisciplinary team, you don't have a Caitlin outcome. You know, there's no doubt. That is a smile for a lifetime for many people, not just one person. And I think that is an incredible thing to be a part of. Smile for a Lifetime is looking for orthodontists, dentists, and other dental specialists to join our team. If you are ready to be a local hero in your community, we invite you to become a Smile for a Lifetime doctor and do something extraordinary today.